Hi guys, I'm in my kitchen and I am doing pre-prepped portioned meals and snacks for the whole week. To, so I will stay on track and not snack and not grab for the wrong thing. Uh, this week we're doing, it's the beginning, tomorrow it starts the 30 day reset challenge that Miss Susie Bowie put out. So I am getting ready and I am getting set up for success. So let's get started. And my menu for the week, found out how many calories for each meal, making a shopping list, going through the cupboards, finding out what I already have before I go shopping. So getting ready for the week. Emptied out my cupboard on my bowls, figuring out what I have, how many I have, assessing what I'm going to need for the week. So I got plenty. It looks like we're almost ready. All right, I have that chicken going in the oven. I have some hamburger with taco seasoning going for my taco salads, and I am starting some of the fajita mix. The pep, bell peppers and onions and then I'll be doing the chicken for the fajitas. Now I'm fixing one of a corn and black bean salsa. Of course it's drained and rinsed canned black beans, some frozen corn, some red bell peppers, some purple onion and then I'm gonna give it some a little bit of chili powder and then I'm gonna throw in some cilantro, and then I'm gonna do some juice and zest from a lime, and then that will be done. For the seasoning on the fajita mix, it's um, a little bit of paprika, chili powder, dried oregano, onion powder, garlic powder, cumin, and salt and pepper. I have the wrong one out here, that's garlic, not onion. And I'm gonna sprinkle all that in there and finish cooking. I have been cooking for the last couple of hours. I'm sure I look like a hot mess, but I am getting ready for this first week of Susie Bowie's 30 day reset challenge. So what I've done for nutrition and meals, my diet plan, I have pre-prepped meals and snacks for the whole week so exciting starts tomorrow so this is where we are let me turn you around let me figure out how to turn you around okay so one of the meals that i made was the rotisserie chicken and i did steamed broccoli and a half of a sweet potato now that's a dinner to me that's kind of heavy so i did not make an extra one for lunch here is another one. Um, this one is exciting to me. I did a it's chicken, sauteed chicken with red bell peppers and green bell peppers and onions. And it is on a cilantro and lime, half a cup of rice. And then I did a black bean and corn salsa kind of thing happening. It turned out really good. Now, I do not quite, but almost double the amount for my husband because he is busy and running all day long. So his calories that he can have is a whole lot more than mine. And I did an extra one for a lunch. This one is also an extra one that I made for lunch. But for me, it is a half a cup of the chicken breast from that rotisserie chicken. A half a cup of mandarin oranges and it goes on top of a cup and a half of baby spinach and then I use like a, some type of a balsamic vinaigrette dressing. So that is a, a spinach salad. This one here is a taco salad. Um, my husband likes to eat the, the meat with onions and a little bit of black beans but I prefer the, just the black beans, a little bit of corn and some onions and it goes the, the, the chips go down first, then the lettuce, and then all this goes on top, and then we use a salsa for a dressing. 
And then this one is, it is a garlic shrimp on top of a vegetable stir fry with steamed green beans. So, smells really good. So that's one, two, three, four lunches and five dinners so far. And the sixth one, I don't like to pre-prep my salmon fish just because when you pre-prep it and it sits for a few days and then you heat it back up again, it's kind of dry and I'm just, I'm not like it. So I roasted some asparagus and I threw in the leftover broccoli from the chicken in with that. And then when I make the salmon, that'll go with it. And then I had some leftover fajita and some leftover of the black bean and corn salsa. So that will be my lunch, but there's no rice, no tortillas, no nothing. I ate it just like that. And then I did snacks for all week too. I keep my oranges like this. Um, is a half of a cup is a serving for me. So this is for the whole week. I like, I keep them in the fridge because I like them cold. They, all of my little snack baggies, these are a half a cup sizes. So I've got grapes, got cherry tomatoes, I've got celery, I've got carrots, I've got sliced cucumbers. And then these are my husband's. I send them in his lunches just for a little extra protein, pick me up to him in the afternoon. But this is six meals, six dinners. And I will do an extra piece of salmon for a lunch. And then that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six lunches and six dinners. And then on the seventh day, actually, I will make some type of an Arabic dish for my husband. And then we'll have some something Arabic for dinner. And now that I got all this ready, I'm done for the week. I have to start on that. So I guess, <laughs> is this decluttering? <laughs> No, probably not really. Look at all them dishes. Of course, I had to use all of them. And I've washed them twice already, making all this stuff. So that is it. This is ready for the week. I'm ready to start for tomorrow. Thanks for watching, y'all. Have a great week.